hallmarks of higher education and of democracy is the ability to converse with and learn from those with whom we disagree. If this behavior continues, your degrees will be mailed to you. When graduating seniors at Bethune-Cookman University booed U.S. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos in 2017, it was mostly a statement against the political danger of the administration she represented and the lack of political nuance of the administration which invited her to campus. We may be fast approaching another situation at an HBCU, this time at Virginia Union University, which will host and battle Virginia Governor Ralph Northam next week in what some are billing as his apology tour. Set aside for the moment the idea that black people and black institutions shouldn't have to be the gateway for white enlightenment on racial issues. And do you said that the competition in San Antonio was a dance competition? Yes. And it was that you danced the moonwalk? That's right. Are you still able to moonwalk? Uh, <coughs> inappropriate circumstances. My wife says inappropriate circumstances. Let's focus on exactly how this will work out for Union or any other HBCU that would venture to be a part of his tour. On one hand, welcoming the governor and asking black communities to forgive the man whom we helped elect because of aligned political beliefs is a good play. Virginia HBCUs are in great position to benefit from a governor who is anxious to prove that he is a leader for the future, despite a racially reprehensible past and a mistake-laden present. If you look at Virginia's history, we're now uh, at the 400-year anniversary, uh, just 90 miles from here. Uh, in 1619, the first uh, indentured servants from Africa landed on our shores in Old Point Comfort, what we call now Fort Monroe. And while also known as slavery, yes, yeah. Democrats in Virginia should be eager to back the governor with a legislative agenda that matches resources with reconciliation, and HBCU should be eager to welcome them. But on the other hand, our resources and even trade for the negative feedback that could possibly come Union's way. Union is not Bethune-Cookman, and it isn't Howard, where political misalignment brings out the best in the collective protest identity of their students and alumni. But Union is still an HBCU, and that means that there is a potential for those students and faculty to reject this appearance, reject Northern's refusal to resign, and to reject their institution being used as a pawn for his political reclamation efforts and the goal of keeping Virginia alive as a reliably blue state ahead of the 2020 presidential election. Union may be hoping for the best in Northam's appearance, but they should expect the worst in a state that is very conscious of its racist past and diverse future. Northam's crisis is not a Charlottesville Nazi situation, but it is equally racially intense that could be made worse with a gaffe prone governor on an HBCU campus. In the short term, HBCU students and black activists could turn this into exactly what the country expects to see. That could impact enrollment, philanthropy, and the stability of the college's leadership. In the long term, it could yield benefits for HBCU students and campuses in the way of programming and scholarship opportunities. The question is if the risk is worth it for Union and the HBCU community. The answer? If recent history has been any indicator, it should be a resounding not today and tomorrow may not be good either. Choose, choose which way you want to go.